the stable of Biscon Communications, producers of the Bisio Latula Show, Nigeria's number one general interest magazine show, comes BOS International Magazine. With BOS International Magazine, you can now enjoy the best of two worlds with Biscon Communications, the emerging media conglomerate. BOS International Magazine keeps you constantly in touch with events on the social scene as they happen, global news, politics, sports, special interviews, fashion and style, and essential tips about life and living. BOS International Magazine is a complete package of entertainment and education at your doorsteps. Ask your vendor for a copy today. We welcome distributors across the country. The Methodist Church of Nigeria conducted its recognition of service and award of merit to some of the deserving members of the Methodist Church of the Trinity Tinubu Lagos on Sunday, 24th March 2013. Sir Olu Okewo, Chairman CEO Gibraltar Group Nigeria Limited, was inducted as a Knight of Johnson Wesley by the Prelate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, His Eminence Dr. Sunday Olamakinde, CON. It's instructive to note that this spiritually significant event coincided with Palm Sunday this year. Chifulu Okero was born into a devout Christian family. His parents, the late Sir Taiwo Okero and Lady Grace Adishola Okero, served meritoriously at the St. Paul's Anglican Church Irewon Ijabode before they joined the Saints Triumphant at the end of their glorious days on earth. In fact, Sir Olu Okewo's father, late Sir Taiwo Okewo of the Obaruwa royal family, was a choir master emeritus of the Methodist Church who was given the title of Babaijo of St. Paul's Irewon, a knight of John Wesley. Sir Olu Okewo studied medical technology at the University of Innsbruck, Austria, and later went on to do medicine in the Dominican Republic. He has been conferred with two honorary doctorate degrees by foreign universities. Sir Lu Okeo is also multilingual, very much at home with foreign languages like Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Dutch, and so on. Sir Lu Okeo, like his father, the late Sir Tai Okeo, has served the church to the best of his abilities. He has on various occasions donated parcels of land for church buildings. In fact, he's currently developing one in Ijebode. Sir Lu Okewo has also provided scholarship for the less privileged youths of the church. Sir Lu Okewo single-handedly renovated the prelate's office at Wesley House. His love for music motivated him to form an orchestra, the Gibraltar Orchestra. Sir Lu Okewo has remained a chorister in the church for over 25 years now, with matchless dexterity on the piano or organ. A man devoted to his faith through worship and abiding commitment to God, Sir Lu Okewo is a grand patron of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Can Lagos State Chapter, a patron of numerous other societies, including the Young Men Christian Association, Young Women Christian Association, Christian Ladies League, Helpers Union, and Boys Brigade of Nigeria. Chief Olu Okewo was traveling, landscaping, architectural simulations, and interior enhancements as his hobbies, together with his lovely wife, are blessed with three children. Starting with the processional hymns, the church service went underway with the declaration of purpose and the opening prayers. The recipients of the recognition of service and award of merit among them, Sir Luo Keowo, were presented by the secretary of the conference. This was followed by the examination of the recipient. The consecration of the robes and insignia of office was followed by the decoration of the recipients. Prayers were said for them afterwards.
In his sermon, the Right Reverend Michael O. Akinwale, while stressing the essence of Palm Sunday, proclaimed the goodness of God who sent his only begotten son to come and pay the price for our salvation. On the theme of the sermon, which is, What if God has not been on our side? The Right Reverend Michael Akinwale cited Psalm 124, starting from verses 1, where he used the faithfulness of King David to demonstrate the abiding guidance, protection, and grace of God in the life of the faithful. The choir rendered many soul-inspiring songs in the course of the service. Was Holy Communion at the Palm Sunday service as well. From now on, Sir Oluokewo is as pronounced by the clergy, Lord Sir Clement Oluokewo, Knight of the Johnson Wesley. The event, which attracted a very impressive attendance of those in the commanding heights of their various callings, began with the former dedication of Grace's Courts, an architectural edifice, high-end string of apartments in Highbrow Parkview Estate, Ikui, named in honor of the mother of the celebrant, Lady Grace Adeshole Okewo. The exercise was conducted by His Eminence, Dr. Sunday Olama Kinde C.O.N., the prelate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, who was accompanied by other clergymen. The ultra-modern Grace's Court was constructed by Gibraltar Properties, owned by Sir Olu Okewo, who is heavily into top-range real estate business, with a string of estates and other properties scattered around the country particularly in the highbrow areas of Lagos, easily the architectural hub of Nigeria. The reception took the dimension of an informal gathering that featured mainly remarks about Sir Luo Kewo by his friends, associates and colleagues who looked at him from different perspectives, at the end of which they all registered an unequivocal verdict of uncommon kindness and love for humanity on this celebrant whom they advised others like him to try and emulate. In his own remarks, the former Vice Chairman and CEO of Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, Engineer Ernest Ndukwe, who was a neighbor to the celebrant, shared with the audience the unforgettable role, even at the risk to his life, which Sir Luo Kewo played in helping to put out the fire that gathered his house while he and the entire family were away abroad. Olu is someone who, if you have a friend, as a friend, then you have a friend indeed. He's a very trusted and reliable person. There was some time I traveled out of the country with my wife. We were far away in Chicago. I suddenly got a call that our building was on fire. And I don't know what happened, but there was some fire in that building. Ulu ordered several tankers of water from somewhere in Ikoeda and was supervising the putting out of the fire and the house was locked and luckily because of his um, boldness and everything they were able to break through the sliding glass at the top of the house and enter and they were able to put the fire. For Pastor Wale Farasin, the General Overseer of the Garden Light Assembly Church, Parkview Estate, Ikoi, Lagos, the great strides the celebrant has made over the years in his business can only be predicated on his solid belief in God and his unallied kindness to humanity. In his response, which he started with a song of praise to God, which the audience joined him in singing, 
The new knight of Johnson Wesley, Sir Luo Kewo, thanked God for the enablement he has given him to be counted worthy of such a spiritually significant honor in the entire Christendom. Sir Luo Kewo said he and those invested as knights underwent a retreat at which responsibilities of a knight were clearly spelt out to all of them. He promised that he will do all within his power to carry out more charity work and try to convert as many of his friends who are yet to be converted into Christianity into the faith. He ended his intervention on a humorous note. He first thanked his wife of many years, whom he said he met as a miss, turned her into a missus, and now transformed her to the glory of God into a lady. Well, I want to thank you all for coming. May God bless you all. That war that they are fighting, war had different wars that we are fighting. Different things bother us, different things that only God can solve. That particular pain that you guys are feeling you that only God can solve, God will solve it for you. And I also want to thank my wife. I met her as a miss. I can't thank the missus. And I'm not going to be a bit. Please enjoy your day. The cake cutting exercise was conducted by former Governor Lushegun Oshoba of Ogun State with the Obor of Lagos, the Alaki of Egbalan, the celebrant and his wife, and other dignitaries in attendance. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. The very high octane event ended on a musical note as the celebrant, his wife, the Oba of Lagos, the Alaki of Egbaland, and others hit the dance floor. <laughs> The criteria considered for the nomination of anyone for a knighthood honor include evidence of charitable work, upliftment of the condition of the less privileged, and a stark propagation of the ideals of the Christian faith. It's really worthy of note that the number of people in position of power and influence who have achieved a lot in life through the grace of God and given back to the society and the church in particular is on the ascendancy. Sir Oluo Kewo, who has been in the vanguard of creating wealth and providing succor for the poor and less privileged for decades, is a very good example for others to draw inspiration from. Anything for the service of God is to be welcomed. You see, these are very uh, hard-working people in the vineyard of Christ. And uh, if the church chooses to recognize them, we should also be part of it. So it is a very good thing. Clement is a great guy. And uh, for me, for this day for him, it's not strange. Because I know he has really worked hard for it. My prayer for him is for the Lord God to use him more in his vineyard. I bless him with his new posting as a knight of this John Wesley in the Methodist Church. The Lord God will bless him with this. And for his family, I say to them, I feel highly honored. It's a call to greater service. It's a call to serve God more and to pull more people into God's own kingdom. Well, to propagate the word of God more, to praise him all the days of my life, and um, just to generally celebrate every remaining day I have on this earth.